for a little while now you've been asking me to do a tutorial on my Lance off the grid custom. So I haven't done anything to do with him in a while because I wasn't sure if I was going to get the predator like arm blades thing, I don't know how you'd describe them, but these things. I wasn't sure if I was going to get the real ones and stick them on or not, which in the end I decided I wouldn't because too expensive just to put on a figure. Although I found a cheap one on eBay, so I might at a later date redo that. Um, now this one's quite an easy custom, because as you can see there, most of this is done out of clay. Um, the actual neck piece that, obviously this piece, as you can tell, is actual plastic, was sent to me by Moonshine in the box that I got. So thanks to him, I have a more realistic looking one. However, you can get pretty much the same look by making one out of clay, as that's what my original one was, and if you want to see an image of that, head over to my Instagram, because I uploaded a photo somewhere on there, I'll try and put it up in the slideshow here. Hopefully that explains how easy it can be made, but I'm going to go through and explain just how each piece of this is made using the clay, because I understand that some parts of it might look a bit complex with like the shaping and everything but yeah i'll also give you the template for his little back piece here by the way thanks to my really um speedy new phone i don't have to worry about constantly clicking the phone to re-auto focus it because if i just take him off the refocus is so fast so i don't have to worry about any refocusing issues now so ignore all the random cogs that I've just put out on the desk, it's just because I'm working on some things. And I had all the cogs in the pot of clay that I use, because I needed some cogs for obviously the new characters of Off The Grid. However, for some reason, they didn't send the actual ones I needed from the company. They decided they'd send all the big ones rather than the smaller ones, so that's fine. And rather than sending me enough to do all the, um, like... You know like the hat of Regalius has this weird um, cog on it? Yeah, that's the most accurate thing I could find to it. Can it... okay. And as you can see it's not perfect, so... Yeah. Um, they only sent one of those in the box. So that kind of sucks, I guess. And a chemical reaction happened with those cogs in here. And it turns some of the clay hard. So that's really weird. But anyway, I'll show you how to make the bit on his stomach first. Okay, so this shape is just like a kind of flat square that's got a little um, wedge to it at the very end. And to get this little indent that you can't really see on camera there. There you go, that indent. I just used my screwdriver, like the tip of the screwdriver thing. Flathead screwdriver and... Like that. That's literally all that piece is. And then obviously I painted it with a gunmetal grey or silver, whatever you want to call it. And I'll explain how to make... I won't bother explaining how to make the knee pads, because those are quite basic to be honest with you. They're just round blobs and then a thin wire going around the outside um, but I'll explain how to make his predator type thing on his left to you but his right arm so now I started off with just doing a basic square um, it's not to scale because this isn't actually for a um, another custom but I started off with just a basic rectangle like this and the very end of it here, you just pinch down. Then you reform into the square. And you just keep going until you're happy with the length and size of it. And now you do want a bit of excess on this side. You want a little bit more of this bit than you really need because you should cut that off with the scissors after to get a really straight edge. 
And now for the blades, they are just bits that I added in after. I put indents in the square using my um, screwdriver and then made the blades and when once they were both dried, I separately pushed them together and glued them in place. So those are quite easy to do. You just get your ordinary bit of like long piece of clay like that you flatten it out and you put a little hook at the end of it so that's a really simple one to do um, now I will explain how to make this piece even though it's not really required by the way if you want the official one it's from a Zevo's character, I don't know which one exactly. If I find out, I'll put it in the comment section, although I probably won't be able to find out because I've never seen it before. I just know it had like the same peg as a Zevo's, so. Right, so for his um, neck piece, you just start off with the basic shape that you see which I guess is kind of like a triangle with a flat. I don't really know how to describe the shape, but... So as always, you roll it out first, and then flatten it down. Obviously it's much bigger than it should be, because it's just a little quick one. So now with that as the rough shape, if you then flatten down the edges, because the edges are actually flat. And obviously it would be curved around, as so. And you flatten this edge as well, making sure there is a slight angle as it comes off of this curve. There. Really bad quick one. Uh -oh. So that'd be your base piece, which actually isn't far off the right size for him. And then once you've got that, obviously you've got this weird kind of outline that goes around it. Now I actually made that originally by just getting a really long piece. That obviously isn't long enough, and I rolled it out on a flat surface, 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 to make it like you know when you were, when you were younger and you'd play with play doh and make like those really long worms. See, I know you would do it when you were younger because I did my work experience at a nursery, and they just seemed to play with play doh all the time, so. So you start off just by making one of these and you flatten it out into a little, I don't know what you'd call it, but you just completely flatten it out. Okay, now I want it to flatten out like this. You get your piece back, which is down here. And you just line it over the edges where it would go. Remembering to make the sharp turns where there are them. Because they can always then be re flattened out. That's just the quick way of doing one of those. Obviously, you'd be more precise with it and not just randomly stick it where it looks just good enough. Like I have. So that's that piece. And now the most complicated piece I personally think on this is his, I guess it's the equivalent to Striker's Bracer, but I think this is probably the most difficult piece to do. Because it just takes a lot of time and getting the sizing and everything right. And by the way, I just want to say you can see the texturing on this. Um, you just go in with the corner of your screwdriver and just jab it in the sides. And I would explain this weird belt thing that goes around the side. But I think that's quite easy to understand. Turn back around. 
Why won't you turn back? There we go. So now this piece can be quite difficult, but if you just break it into the shapes that it actually is, like for instance this, like, not trapezium, why is it? Oh no, it would be a trapezium, never mind. Um, it's a tall trapezium, if you put it down that way. There you go. Um, if you just put, break them into shapes, like that one, and you make it piece by piece, so you have your tall trapezoid, Trapezium, there you go. Trapezium, trapezium, there you go. Like that. And you make these side pieces, which are just like long stretched out ovals. And now those are quite simple to make, because obviously they're just random little stretch pieces. And you would make them like this. And they are technically speaking just the brackets that hold it, the weird ridges that you can see in place. Now you would make them quite thick, as you can see there, if you are making it to hold something, whereas if you broke it into little pieces, um, and once it was dry glued it all together, it would hold, but I put it all into one piece and then let it dry as one. Because I had, when I first made this, I was just getting used to this kind of clay, so... That's why he's not the best custom I've made, but I'm still quite happy with him. Okay, so once you've then got this, which is pretty much the same, it's a little bit off, but it's pretty much the same. Um, you have to just make five of those pieces. Is it five? Yeah, it is five. Okay, and they are just small little archways, like. Nope, that's not an archway, hang on. Like this. And you put them in one by one. Like... That. Obviously... In a much neater way. So that's how you'd make that one. And now for this little... Wait, no, keep your legs stuck down. There we go. Now this little gold piece here, which if you saw, I'm pretty sure was the flamethrower. Um, once again, really easy piece to make, just looks overcomplicated because it's small. Now that's made by just getting a little piece like this. Can I? There. And rolling out the end until it makes this weird curvable edge, this thing, till you're able to make a hook on the end of it. And then using another piece like the other side, you get another one of those. You stick it on the lower so it kind of comes down lower than the other piece does, like this. And then with this little piece, I usually lock it behind. There you go. And then once that's dry, obviously you'd paint that gold. And you've, ugh. There. And there's the... It's really simple to make, because it took me about 30 seconds. So, not the hardest piece. Now I'll give you the template for his cape. Now that's the template for his cape, and obviously it's just really simple, but I would say that you should probably cut this out, um, lay it down on your fabric that you're using, you could even use pleather, which is what I've got to use later, or you could just use the material that I've used here, which I'd say is kind of like a cloth material. Um, I think that's pretty much the same thing that they used in Off The Grid. I think, I'm not entirely sure. You can't tell because there's not too many amazing images you can see of it. But yeah, um, if you want to take the template then feel free to take it. Leave it there for a minute. So anyway, um, 
It is quite simple to make, however, I do need to fix this little white that's shown up. That's just where the super glue's dried. Um, so, quick little character to make. Uh, so, obviously, you don't need this, although I used it because I had it. I think it looks good even without it, but obviously, if you have it, then I recommend you use it. Ignore all the cogs, but I do think I will use these just scattered around the floor for when I do animations. Not animations when I do tutorials on off the grid. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, then subscribe because I do plan on doing Regalius. I have the starting pieces for him here. Um, so subscribe for that. Stick around for that at least. And I will be doing the new characters, the red one and the silver one in the off the grid series that Regalius employs to do things for him. Um, I do plan on doing those, which means I'll have to make a couple more of these things. Um, although I won't use that one, so now I'm going to the bin. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.